In this video, I'm going to take you through designing a children's colouring book and publishing it on Amazon. Welcome to One Bag Coaching. My name is Neil. Let's go straight to Canva. I'll be using Canva Pro to show you how to design a colouring book. First of all, we need to set a custom size page. I use an 8.5 by 11 inch page when I'm designing colouring books in Canva. And we're going to design a farm colouring book for kids. So before we start, I like to put in a This Book Belongs To page. And to do this, first of all, I need to choose a nice decorative border. This one down here, that one looks pretty good. All right, a little bit of text. And uh, this book belongs to. Most books for kids have something along these lines in the front of the book. Just makes it a little bit more personal. And just a little area down the bottom here where they can write their name. A little line. So many to choose from here on Canva. Just a matter of finding what you like. Just resize that. I'll move it down a bit. Okay. I'll insert a new page and we'll start now on page three, which will be a blank page. And here, first of all, I'll start with a border. Now, it's probably easiest to do a border using shapes because you can stretch them right out and make them fit your page. We just make the interior transparent. Turn on the stroke to a solid line. and give that solid line the colour black. And here we have a nice border to go around our artwork. Now we need to duplicate this on our other pages. So we're going to duplicate the page. Now generally a, a colouring book would have at least 25 images. So you put 25 pages in at least, could be more. And then we also have a, a, a page a blank page in between each image to allow for bleed. So we'll start off here with our first image. I'm just going to search for farm animals. And if I type in outline, I'm more likely to get the suitable black and white graphics because Canva has so much that you don't want to be go hunting through images that aren't suitable. We're looking at white and black. That'll give us an area to colour in. So there's a little cow and a calf. Now these are simple images for a, a, uh, a very young child. A very simple colouring book. Doesn't have to be too fancy. And this is just a to give you an idea on how to go about designing a book in Canva. My uh, design work here is not going to be spectacular. It's just to give you the idea on how Canva can help you design a book using the images that are built into Canva. Now, it doesn't just end with the images that are here. I'm going to put the sun in now. But you can also upload images that you may have sourced elsewhere that are copyright free. All right, where's a nice sun? Let's try this sun. It looks pretty cool. Better on the other side. And as you can see, it's easy to adjust where your images sit on the page, move them around, get them where you feel they look right. And you can come back and change at any time. That's not too bad. Move the sun over just a little bit. All right. 
So as I mentioned before, we've got a, the next page. We need to put a blank page in between. So that can be for the bleed when it appears in the book. So it'll be an image, blank page, image, blank page, all the way through the, through the book. So basically the back of the image will be blank. So every even page will be blank. All right, horse outline. Let's see what we can find with the horses. Quite a few horses here in Canva. Something that's around the same sort of uh, easy to colour uh, design. This one here looks good. And it's fun too. Children will love to look at this little horse. Now, as you can see, I put a sun in the, other, in the uh, last one just to make that image my own. So I'm not just using the images as they are. Sometimes you can. And sometimes, like in this instance, it's not really anything more appropriate to go into, into the picture. So I'm just going to flip this one. And that does make it your own because you've actually changed the way it looks. That's all right. Another blank page after that one. And then we go down again. I'm only going to do three pages of this book just to give you an idea. I'm not going to sit here and, and put 25 images on this book. That will bore you to tears. I just want to give you a basic idea on how we go about putting images in here and, and just designing a simple colouring in book uh, for kids. You can do more advanced, just a matter of the graphics that you obtain. As I said, Canva has a fair uh, selection of images, but you can source them elsewhere and also upload them into Canva. That little pig looks good there. All right. So there we have it. We have three graphics in our colouring book and a belong to page at the start there. So you can just go on and on and on, add another, you know, 23 up to 30 images and you've got yourself a colouring in book. It's simple as that. Now, how long did that take? Now we save it. This is the important part. When you're saving your file here, you need to make sure that you choose PDF print. That's what's required for uploading into KDP, PDF print. All right, so we download that, and that would be our manuscript for our KDP. All right, we're going to move on to a cover. So the dimensions for the cover, I'll show you shortly. I've also uploaded the template which I downloaded from KDP. And this template I can put in my design here so I know exactly where I am. Now this page is 17.482 inches by 11.250 inches. And as you can see this template fits nicely on that page and it tells me where my margins are and, and um, where the bleed lines are as well. All right, let's find a cover. And this is fun because you can choose a lot of the images here from Canva. There's a lot of uh, nice graphics here that, that can make a nice book cover. It's just a matter of finding what you like, playing with it, modifying it, making it yours. This one looks good. And you can drag them into shape so they fit your design. And the good thing about using this template, I can see exactly where the front cover needs to go. And, uh, and then where the back cover would then uh, start from. So you've got your bleed line leading all the way to the uh, spine of the book there, the gutter, and that way you know that the, uh, the book is going to be designed in the right proportions. So I'm just going to go back and put a a colour over the back here and that'll be our back uh, cover colour but I'm not going to leave it at brown that was a default colour when I selected the shape but when I go into the colours here I've got a choice to choose from an array of colours as you can see on the left there or as you can see midway up here there's also a selection of colours from the actual artwork I'm working on, I'm going to choose the same green as what's in the green on the cover, on the front cover. It's exactly the same colour. And I'll just make sure this is fitting nicely together. And that doesn't look too bad. Let's drag this out just slightly. 
It doesn't matter if it slightly goes over those pink lines. They are bleed lines and that will ensure that your cover, when it, when it is printed, uh, doesn't get chopped off. They go slightly over them and you know you're right. That's looking pretty good. All right, I'll leave that template showing at the time being. I'll just put some text in. Good selection of text. You can put in uh, your own text or you can choose some of the pre-selected text here and just modify it. Some of this text looks uh, quite good and uh, can make good cover headings. We'll call this one Fun at the Farm. And obviously we'll give it a bit of colour. Nice blue, I think. And we don't need this bit of text down the bottom here, so we'll get rid of that. All right, gone. Put that in the position, and I can see where the center is by having that uh, template still there. That looks all right. And now we'll put a little bit more text in. A bit more of a description, which will be, can be our, our uh, subheading for our book. Just colouring book for kids. Starting the obvious. Position that. Change that colour. All right. And just another small selection of text here. We'll just use a subheading again and make it smaller. Like I said, 50 pages is, is a, a good number of pages in a book. No, nothing to say you can't have from 25 up. When you do publish your book, it must have at least 24 pages. Otherwise, it can't be uploaded to KDP. And that can include your blank pages or the back of your um, colouring pages. So in theory, you could have 12 images. That would make 24 pages. But I think it's nice to have at least 25. Um, you, are, you are providing a book and you ought to give your customers some value for what they pay for. Okay, just move this out a bit more. That's all right. Now, I'm just going to remove... The template and I can do that by going into position here and now going up to the opacity and sliding it down to zero that way the transparency is now no longer visible in this uh, artwork and there we have it there's our there's our coloring book cover that's looking pretty good and we can now save that one so we go up to share when we're ready to do that and we also save this as a PDF print. Okay, so those files can now be uploaded directly to KDP and once you have a assigned ISBN, choose a black and white interior. Paper size, we choose 8 by 5 by 11. I've already selected it here. Bleed, I have on, and I like a glossy cover. I now upload the paperback manuscript. And I choose the first one we did, the interior, as a PDF. Select that, and that will now upload. 
and it will be checked by Amazon as it's uploaded to make sure that everything is right as far as formatting. That's been uploaded successfully. I now choose my cover. Same deal, I select the uh, PDF file and that uploads. It's also checked during the upload process by KDP to ensure that the dimensions and the bleed are all correct. Once those files uploaded, it'll wait for it to uh, finish uh, processing and then I can launch the previewer. All right, there's a previewer now. I'll launch that. That doesn't normally take too long, depending on how, how large your manuscript is. This one's fairly uh, small, so it's doing it fairly quickly. And here we have the preview of our book. There's our cover, and there's no errors here on the, left, on the left hand side where it says quality check. That's a good sign. And our cover, that's how it will look when it's printed. We can go through our page. Everything fits in within the margins that this book belongs to, it fits in nicely. And our colouring pages fit in nicely as well. We could have made them slightly bigger within in Canva. Nice to be safe rather than having them cut outside the bleed area. Plenty of room there to move if you need to. And they look quite good. And I'm sure a child would love to colour in some of these fun animals. And once we've checked our, um, our book through this previewer, We can now check the pricing. It's going to cost $2.15 uh, to print. That's US dollars. And if we're happy with that, save and continue. We now move to our pricing page where we put our price in, what we are going to sell it for, and then we also can see what our royalty uh, percentage will be as well. Put six forty-five dollars for this one. And you can see the royalty is $1.72. And also click the expanded distribution. Guess another little area where your book can be sold. And then we hit publish. Simple as that. Okay. Well, that was just a very simple demonstration on how to use Canva to design a colouring book and upload it to KDP. Canva can be used for a whole lot of um, designs, not just a colouring book like that. Uh, it, there are a lot of features of, in the pro version, and I highly recommend if you are going to use Canva, that you take that step and you purchase the pro version of Canva. You can use the free version, but you'll find you'll be limited to the number of images you have access to. And as you're going through finding images, you'll see little ones with a crown. You, you either got to purchase them separately or you'll find that you can't use them. You can also upload images from other sites into Canva. So if you have access to other sources of, of copyright free images, you can download them and then save them into Canva and use them when designing as well. Canva is a great way to get started on KDP. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you in my next video.